fossil fuel school buses to zero emission fleets by 2035. Another round of state funding was recently announced to achieve that goal. Our Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine has more. $200 million is now available for school districts on a first-come, first-served basis for buses, chargers, and electrification plants. The money is in addition to $100 million made available last year. We've seen interest from about half of the school districts in the state, about 350 school districts, in completing fleet electrification plans, which is really we see as the first step toward, uh, toward bringing electric school buses into your fleet. While well, Dave Christopher, the executive director of the New York Association for Pupil Transportation, appreciates more money being provided, he says it's not enough. Just the bus is three times what a fossil fuel bus would cost, and that's not counting the infrastructure, which is the wild card, because every bus operation, every bus yard has different infrastructure needs. According to NYSERDA, there are currently about 100 zero-emission school buses on the road. There are hundreds more on order. Uh, or uh, pledged either through our program or the federal, uh, the U.S. EPA's clean school bus program. When you combine all of those, it looks like we're going to be up closer to a thousand buses uh, before before long. With cost being a challenge for some districts, the New York State School Board Association thinks the state should consider reevaluating its deadline. Whether it is a you know, um, a waiver process or an exemption process that's a little bit more applicable and broad uh, or just, you know, a full pushback of the deadline. I think those conversations need to be had in a more meaningful way. Another round of state funding from the Environmental Bond Act is expected to become available in the future. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. Too